coming to you from Embedded World North America 2024 here in Austin, Texas. I have been doing the Burden IMAX 95 EVK and for early access customers that want to start working with the processors. And this will actually be the uh, module that some of those projects could go into production with. We are also showcasing, we've announced earlier this year, our high-end Aquila family. But here we're actually showing some of these uh, prototypes. The first that you uh, can see right here is a Aquila AM69. This is a TI chip, up to eight A72 cores, an MPU that can go up to 32 tops. Um, and then we're also showing the Aquila IMX95. So this is actually, let's say, world exclusive. You can order them right now. We have development boards. We have volume production uh, carrier boards, such as uh, the Mallow right here and our new Ivy industrial carrier board. Uh, so both of these are meant for volume production. It's not just that uh, early development, but you can actually continue purchasing them all the way through uh, your uh, device uh, lifecycle. We are also showing a complete solutions that we can now do thanks to the Toradex solutions team uh, of basically doing complete customized carrier boards for our customers, as well as in this case, even enclosures with maybe displays attached. We're talking about all things Horizon and specifically our new open source community project for running Horizon on a wide variety of hardware. Obviously, Horizon is our client operating system and cloud infrastructure for managing uh, the, the Toradex hardware, but now we support uh, things such as the Beagle Play, uh, the Raspberry Pi, several members of the Raspberry Pi family, and we can support your custom hardware today. So if you have a need for a well-maintained, supported, full full end-to-end uh, uh, -in solution, including cloud management, over-the-air updates, remote fleet, and device monitoring, uh, check us out at, uh, the, at horizon.io. Security on our devices, namely starting with secure boot on the device side. So here you can see we're implemented a chain of trust or secure boot as some people might say on our devices. The idea is that we would start with the initial component, usually being the SOC or hardware, and then we would use keys to secure the SOC and use that to sign each successive stage. So you can see here in the video, we'd be signing the bootloader, Linux kernel, and the root file system on the device. The idea with the chain of trust would be that as each stage gets verified, it would then be trusted and used to verify the next stage in the chain of trust. So you can see here the from the SOC ROM, we verify the bootloader, then the Linux kernel, and finally the root file system for the full chain of trust. Now, in the case that this chain of trust doesn't work, as you see here, for example, if there was a malicious bootloader, then now the SOC ROM would fail to verify the bootloader and that would stop the entire boot, preventing any malicious software from being run on your device. So, you know, with this initiative, Tordex is now hoping we'd be able to provide better security to our customers. What we have here is uh, we have our Verdon IMX8 module with our production-ready Mallow board. And we have a little demonstration of a robot that uh, is utilizing uh, the A core and the M core. The A core, what we see here, is doing all of the self balancing. So, this is your real time operating system uh, or your bare metal code. And then we have the A core demonstrating the uh, Linux distribution, Tryzen, and it's doing self balancing. And once the Linux core boots up, you'll see a little face. And what we have is when you knock it, uh, you see the face change. So, what's happening is the balancing uh, being run on the M core is communicating to the A core and sending a signal, and you can change the face. So, you can see how responsive it is. Please keep following us on our channels, social media channels, our website. Follow all the news we have.